Introduction Nikita was sitting in kitchen and eating cucumber. Her mother was cutting vegetables for dinner. Nikita tried eating the raw potato. That tasted bad. Her mother told, some foods need to be cooked before eating. Nikita was eager to learn about such foods. In this lesson, you will learn about food. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify some utensils used for cooking Explain the method of cooking Discuss the different types of fuel used for cooking food Raw and cooked Here you see a table with common items listed that can be eaten raw Items that need to be cooked before eating and items that can be eaten both raw and cooked. Cooking Utensils People use different utensils to cook food. Utensils are made up of steel, brass or clay. The pressure cooker helps to cook food quickly. The kadai is a deep frying pan used to cook vegetables and fry foods items. The tawa is used to cook chapati and parathas. The handi is used to cook rice and biryanis. The karchi or spoon is used for stirring and serving food items. The clay pot is used to store water and grains in villages. Methods of cooking Many of you must like puris. These are deep-fried Indian breads prepared by frying. Some other methods of cooking include boiling, steaming, baking, grilling, roasting. Other methods of cooking. Microwave cooking is a comparatively new method of cooking in which food is cooked by microwave radiation. In solar cooking, solar cooker makes use of sunlight as its source of energy. Fuel for cooking We need fuel to cook food. A variety of fuel can be used to cook food such as cow dung cakes, kerosene, coal, sunlight, electricity, gas and wood. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Food can be eaten raw and after cooking. Utensils are made up of steel, brass or clay. Various methods of cooking are frying, boiling, steaming, baking, grilling and roasting. Fuel is used to cook food. 